Welcome to Geek Blasphemy, the show where players say the most blasphemous statements that you wouldn't say in the Discord chat. I'm your host, Young Deuces, and let's right, jump right into it. So I want to go over the game and kind of go over the rules for the listeners. So players will be giving four categories, as you see displayed on the screen, all right? You will choose between video games, anime, movies and TV, and comic books. After you have selected your category, players will choose between levels one and three. And each level is worth a certain amount of points. And you gain these by figuring out who said that most blasphemous statement. Now, you will get two minutes to interrogate all the other players to figure out who said this statement. After the time runs out, you as the player gets to call out the person who you believe said this statement. If you get it wrong, then the points you choose will get cut in half and you get one more try to figure out who said the statement. If you get the last try wrong, unfortunately, you end up with no points. And then the accused player will tell us whether or not they are the person that did, that said this. Now, don't forget, this is a show about blasphemous statements. So I need all the dramatics, which I don't think that uh, that should be an issue <laughs> with this group right here. <laughs> um, now, if the player is correct, they do win that level. And the person with the most points at the end will be the winner and gets inducted into our highlight reel. Now, our highlight reel will allow the winner one minute to say their most blasphemous statement and explain why without any interactions. So now everybody else is going to get put on mute. And why everybody's on mute, you just got to you gotta take it. You got to sit there while that person is getting their shit off. Now, ATO, yeah. back to you, brother man. Which yes, category sir. are you picking? Movies. Movies and TV because it's a it's a it's a together category. Just so oh, you know, all right, movies and TV. Yep. Right, yep. And how much you betting on yourself? You went cheap last time. Just so you know, you know I'm a little cocky. I got an extra fifty dollars. <laughs> <on me. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me get let me let me let me do movies and TV for two hundred. All right, yeah. movies and TV for the two hundred. You're gonna go ahead and get that blasphemous statement uh -huh. on the screen. Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man movie. All right, let's go ahead and start the interrogation. Get the timer going. ATO, it's on you. Not Bacardi. I believe Bacardi said that. Bacardi said that. I believe that. Already? Wait, yeah. you just going? I'm going. All right, Bacardi, did you say <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> with Tobey Maguire? Jesus Christ, dog. <laughs> Yo, was this a stereotype or something? What the fuck that was that? Hard. He was like, fuck it. I'm just going to go crazy. <laughs> Dog, if, you just, if this is how you gamble, sir, stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bacardi, Jeez. did you say it? I did not say that. You Damn. did not say it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Damn. All right. You got, you're down to 100 points, but you got a minute and 20 seconds. Bro didn't Maybe. even ask questions. I feel like I'm I sorry. I, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was having flashbacks to the chair. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Quick question, Pierre. So, did you? Do you? Are you a fan of any of the Spider-Man franchises? Um, I could say that I like the current one right now, the Cross yeah. the Spidey Verse. I really like that one. Yeah, it's really good. So that's kind of like more of your lane, like in terms of the, any of the Spider-Man films. No, I just like it because of the effects. Okay. And then there's a black, he's a Puerto Rican. I mean, oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, he's right. I'm right, right? Puerto he's Rican. a Af 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 Afro Latina. Afro Latina. Afro -Latina. Yeah. Okay, Afro -Latina. he's an Afro Latina. Uh, he he's basically black. He's a black character, and you know, yeah. most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> Crystal, question. thirty seconds. Um, yeah. So, are you who's your favorite Spider-Man of the three of the three guys of live action? Toby, um, Garfield, or 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 well, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is direct. So, are you okay? Yeah. Well, I got like fifteen seconds left. Yeah, yeah you got like ten. DM. Crystal. You oh, that, was my, that, that, that was my. That was my. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, no, I, I like all three. <laughs> I don't have a Crystal. favorite. I like all three. I have. A, no I don't have a favorite. I like all three. All right. Well, I, yeah, that was my. I'm just accusing Crystal. Oh. All right. <laughs> Chris, oh, did you say Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man movie? I did not say that. Oh. I did not say that. Um, I don't think that Tobey was the best. I also don't think that he was the worst. I still think that all 
of the Spideys, um, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland, they all hit aspects of Spidey um, mm -hmm. that made Spidey who he was. Um, I do think that Miles Morales was the best Spider-Man. 100% uh, agree with Pierre on that one because mm -hmm. for several reasons. Um, but I do think that they, they all hit different aspects of Spider-Man's personality. And mm -hmm. I think people should be more caring and like nice when it comes to Andrew Garfield. Like, I don't think that he was the worst, <laughs> but he still did his thing. Tom okay, Holland, I feel like they yeah. was like, oh, I guess we'll take him. No, I think they all did pretty damn good. Okay, I think they Andrew all did Garfield pretty damn good. Like, like any I, little think, I, didn't love Andrew. I think Andrew Garfield was the best Peter Parker, my opinion. What? Like, just, That's yeah. the, I think he's the worst Peter Parker. He's too he, cool. I, Exactly. <laughs> Peter Parker was cool. No, think was about not. it. Bro, Peter, 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 Parker Peter Parker was not cool. He was quirky and weird cool. and Bro. always had some kind of snarky comment or whatever yeah. and was a little bit beside himself because he had his little powers going on. So, so, Tom, but, Holland, so Tom Holland was cool. Like the, the bull, Flash Gordon, their, his version of Flash Gordon, the bully that was bullying Tom Holland. Tom Holland was way cooler than, than the Tom Holland wasn't cool. No, cooler <laughs> than the but the bully. I didn't say he was cool. Oh yeah, he well that that Flash Gordon is not the true Flash Gordon though. Like that that was always oh, different. Yeah. But, but hold on, like I said, we get into too deep. Boy, just a whole I'm, deep dive. I'm, but I'm, just, I'm just mad because I lost all my money. So that's <laughs> <laughs> Pierre. Why do you believe Toby is the best Spider Man movie? <laughs> oh, oh, Spider Man, Spider Man movie. <laughs> I don't want to do this and be like, I don't. Not like, the light is on me, lad. Boca no key. All right. Um, so, Toby McGuire, I think he was the, I think he is, I can't say, I can say was because I like Miles Morales. But I can say that he was the best because of how how the writing was to me. Okay. Because nowadays, if you think about it, the writing is kind of hard to find a good like balance in a way. In the old school of, I mean, not the old school, but the old like you know Spider Man, you had Tobey Maguire as a nerd or whatnot, loving this one girl named Mary Jane or whatnot, and all this good stuff. He had a great bully. The dude was really a great bully. I'm not gonna cap. And then like his development of being spider-man was really good and then he was trying his best to like you know do what he's supposed to do as spider-man shit like that try to impress a girl it turns out that he ended up you know getting way too much as a teen to do what he's supposed to do and his you know uncle try to help him out turns out that whatever that happened right there it hit him it hit him right there and then he he had a chance of just the defeating you know like killing the villain, but he decided not to. And he started learning himself. Like he has, he has big responsibilities of what he got to do as a Spider-Man. So I really liked it. I really liked the first one, to be honest. I, I fuck with it. So yeah, there's that. And um, all the other Spider-Mans, they are all good. But for mm -hmm. some reason, I'm, re I'm really digging the first Spider-Man because it was just so like, just, just planted in my head about it. So when I saw the other ones, I was just kind of like, eh, Tom Holland, great. Andrew Garfield kind of has sucky villains. Kind of. Sucky villains, sucky villains is yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, sucky villains. Yeah. Spider Man 2, his mm -hmm. Spider Man 2 was a shit, though. It, it, it was. Amazing. It was, amazing, it, no, amazing it, was, it was shit. It was, it was shit. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> shit. They, 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 wait. Spider Man 2 was uh, with, with, with Jamie Foxx, right? Yep. Yeah. So how the fuck did he change his colors in the other? Okay, you know what? No, yeah. it's okay. Because he was blue, <laughs> right. you know. All right, Cardi. Are we on which category? Which category are you picking? Um, let's do let's do comic books. And how much or... you better yourself? Um, let's go for the three haunted. Three haunted. Books for the three haunted. All right, three let's haunted. go ahead and get that blasphemous statement on the screen. For the three horn Archie and Chris Brown are half brother. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, yo. Are we talking about Archie hey. like the comic book Archie? <laughs> it's comic books, G. All right, let's go ahead and start that uh that timer and Bacardi. Let's start your interrogation. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the comic books. Like, 
that's, that's crazy. <laughs> is he really on the phone? That, that, that is, that uh, is Pierre. That's insane. <laughs> Pierre, that um, crazy. are you familiar with Archie Comics? Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a Chris Brown being in a comic book? Don't Google Fuck it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ATO, um, are you are have you read any Archie comics before? I'm familiar with the character. I've seen I've seen books. So you seen so you you are familiar with the Archie the Archie character? Riverdale. You've watched the TV show? I have. Mm. Like you like are you a fan of it? I only watched the episode when Luke Perry got gunned down, and that was it. <laughs> That's random. That <laughs> <laughs> have you? Ever heard of Chris Brown being in any comic books? No. Have you heard of Chris Brown being on Riverdale? I only watched one episode. So. <laughs> okay. Crystal, are you? Have you listened to? Uh, have you watched or uh, read any of Archie Archie comics? Not at all. Have you heard of Chris Brown being in the comic book at all? No, I have not. <laughs> this is very hey, new to me. Hey, I'm going straight for ATO. I'm just going <laughs> straight for the gusto. Never heard of this I'm shit. Going. I, feel like got, I feel like y'all got like an underlying beef right now or something. Y'all no, I know. I, went, I actually interrogated everybody first. I did what the job asked to do. You know what I'm saying? Wait, hold on. All right. Man. ATO. Hold on. Hold on. ATO. It's did you say Archie and Chris Brown are half brothers? Yeah, oh my god, hell yeah, I did. <laughs> 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 I, I gotta hear this. I, I need like, to know. You want to before he says it. I know he said it because when he said I was just, this is like just making a blasphemous statement. That sounds so random that you like. I was hoping I would never have to def- say like defend it, <laughs> like. And I knew that that was the right person that would be like, they ain't gonna never think I was gonna say this. <laughs> well, the thing was, okay, so the idea when 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 I was when Will approached me about the this this amazing program for the day, I went and Googled the proper the definition of the word blasphemy and this and the third. Because when I was growing up, it's always the biblical, you know, sense yeah. of using the word blasphemy, right? So I blasphemously <laughs> said <laughs> Archie and Chris Brown are brothers base it off of their who like who they, how they are in in real life and in, in the comics do got a lot of chicks do got a lot of chicks do get accused of shit do get accused of shit do try to change his life do try to change his life and they won't give him any 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 grace so I just said they're fucking yeah. half brothers that's why I did that <laughs> That's a, I mean that, but it actually makes sense though. That's that's still standing your ground. True. If you believe that, you definitely see. You know what I'm saying, even if you that's made a, a bad mistake, I mean, a lot I, of effort. I I kind of do, and I ain't gonna hold you. I yeah, I mean, you went through a lot of efforts. You did research. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like you put it, you put a thesis together. You know what I'm saying, like it's I'm here for it. It's a statement that I promise you we won't hear anywhere else but on Geek. All shit I've ever seen on the show. I will tell you that right now. <laughs> you know what I'm I'm, I'm I thought it was a crossover it. event. I didn't know about. You know what I'm saying, like what the fuck is this about, like. Shock value. I'm just trying to get invited to the next episode. That's all. Crystal. Crystal, you are up next. Pick your category. Oh, Lord. Every day I lose faith. Um, I say anime the first uh, round, right? Yeah, yeah. We're trying to get away from anime. Everybody choosing anime. I'm going to do video games for 200. Video games for the 200. All right, let's go ahead and get that blasphemous statement up there. Ken Masters isn't a broken character or OP in Street Fighter 6. Let's go ahead and get that uh, countdown going. And Crystal, go ahead and start your interrogation. Don't hate me. I don't give a fuck about Street Fighter. So (laughs) (laughs) that's a blasphemous statement in itself. I'm sorry. Like, (laughs) I don't like a lot of shit. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? He had to speed up. He like she don't like Street Fighter. Like, what? Street Fighter. Get out of here. I can't get with it. Um, shit. Uh, ATL. Who the hell is Kim Masters? Who's that? That's a character from Twisted Metal, I think. What is it really? What? 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 Yeah. Just, they just said Street Fighter Six. <laughs> 
Google Twisted Metal and look up Spectre. His name is Ken Master. Oh, my iPad over there. I don't got it. Oh. <laughs> Bacardi, you, you seem like a, a wise individual. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wise. I don't really wow. Know. Wise, bro. Wow. Oh, wise Man, you individual. Know, you, realize wow. the you realize the motherfucker know that what the original Nintendo looked like. And it's like, oh, yeah, this nigga yeah. been around the block. You know what yeah. well, he, he knows something. He, he, he knows. <laughs> he wise. Come on, young blood. <laughs> Come on, um, now. hell! I'm gonna just guess. I think Pierre said this. I'm a guess. I'm a target. Pierre, I think did you Pierre say Ken Masters isn't a broken character or OP in Street Fighter Six? Please don't zoom in. You know he's going to zoom in. <laughs> Please don't zoom in. <laughs> you know he's going to zoom in. Let me tell you something, Crystal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to do. It. I'm sorry. Uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> You are absolutely wrong. Damn it. <laughs> All right, you got eleven Why seconds. Why did I get the buzzer? Okay. Um, <laughs> ATO been saying some really wild stuff, but I'm gonna go with Bacardi. Bacardi. Go with Bacardi. Bacardi Sensei. Ken Masters Bacardi is in a Sensei. broken character or OP in Street Fighter Six. Is that your statement? Since you wise. So what I will say, what I'm going to say first is. I haven't even played Street Fighter 6. I haven't played Street Fighter since what Turbo probably? Whoa! Damn, nigga. Maybe. Yeah, this is coming from Jesus. Yeah, he said Nintendo was a superior console. Of course he played. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) I mean, I. You're like, you know what I'm saying? I play, I played the other ones, but I mean, like, I played some of the newer ones, but I definitely didn't play 6. But uh, no, I didn't say that. Mm. Oh. So I we know, know ATO but, did it. <laughs> ATO, explain, explain yeah, yourself. With with the motorcycles and everything going in your background, explain. <laughs> and it better be quiet. <laughs> like, I, well, I came back. I came back inside. So. Oh no, it was good. I mean, it yeah, was fine. good. It, it, it brought, um, brought light to it. So uh, there's a lot of complaints about him being broken and him being OP. I think he's like one of the better characters in the whole game. Because mind you, Street Fighter Five was straight garbage. And in this part six, they, they did a, there's a lot of improvements. So, I so five was bad. So I ain't missed nothing while I'm playing five. No, five, yeah, five, right. was, five was whoa, terrible. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't say I didn't miss nothing in five. In the last you played Turbo, there's a shit ton of games that you missed out on. I mean, I probably played some more shit in between there. But as far as like playing like playing Street Fighter seriously, yeah, no, it I mean, probably been like, yeah, they probably been Super Street Fighter too. Yeah, like playing like what I was really whooping motherfuckers ass and taking it seriously was probably back then. Every every I played all of them in some sense. But not to the point where I cared about really playing them. Right. I, I mean, you know, Alpha was good. The Alpha series were good. SNK yeah, the Alpha were Alpha good. Fire. SNK, the Capcom SNK, that was good. Part two was good. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But other than that, like a lot of the Street Fighter games have been very mid, especially five. It was disappointing. The best character to use in five was probably Ryu, maybe, with the with the beard. I don't know. Do y'all um, say Ryu or Ryu? I say uh, both. I say, I say both. I say both. I say both. When I'm, when, right I'm, when, I'm, when I'm when I'm in the hood is Ryu, but when I'm with like you know when I'm at the convention, <laughs> you know when you when you with the people of the culture is Ryu. <laughs> yeah, you know, They'll beat your ass around the spot. They will police you. They yeah, will police they you on how you pronounce their name. Uh, right. You know, um, Pierre, you yeah. are up. You are up again. What okay. category are you choosing? Nah. So I did video games. I'm gonna go with anime now. Or two hundred. What are you doing? Why are you? Why is your face in the camera? <laughs> All right, anime for two hundred. <laughs> Isekai is the best genre of anime. Who the fuck Damn, is Isekai, bro? Why gotta be first, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start your, the timer. Pierre, start your interrogation. Uh, I'm looking while wow. Isekai. Oh, okay, Isekai. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sword and shield, seed and sword. Okay. Yeah. I don't know nothing about that fucking anime, but hold up. Give me some time. Give me how much do I have? About it? Okay. Cool. Let me look. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Isekai look like a uh, dead. Uh, oh, hmm. Isekai, huh? Hmm. Mm. Ah, yeah. Okay. ATO. So tell yes. me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Is this character? No, actually, matter of fact, I can't even ask you that question. Um, what is your top three? No, actually, top five anime. 
Oh, damn. You only got a minute. It's all good. Yeah, I got fine. you. No, no, chill, chill. Here we go. Top three, top three. Let's go. Deep Cuts, Vampire Hunter D, the part one, Yu Yu Hakusho, the series, Project Echo, part one and part part one and two, economy is the same. And my, what was that? Was that three or four? That was three. That was three. Um, Dragon Ball Z, the, the beginning, like the classic 90s hand drawn stuff, and Guran Lagan. Yeah, yeah, say, yeah. Yeah, Guran Lagan. Oh, Guran Lagan. I just watched that like two weeks ago. Yeah, Guran Lagan's a good one. Yeah, it's so good. It's really good. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. All right. Cardi. Um, you do watch anime, correct? Yes, I do. What is your favorite um uh, genre in anime? Like two, <sighs> top two. Actually, matter of fact, just just one. What is your favorite genre in anime? Uh, I actually care for hmm, fact, fifteen seconds. I guess more in the hard, like more in the horror genres with anime. Horror genres. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. All right. More death notice and stuff like that. I don't really have to ask you this question because I already know it's you. <laughs> Christo, did you say Isekai is the best genre of I anime? Did. I did. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> Yo, how y'all right. how y'all going crazy? I'm I'm like I'm so trash. Like <laughs> <laughs> I, if I'm right about I this one, I may be right about this one. Isekai is from, hold up, let me get this real quick. I'm trying to remember this movie, I mean, this show. It's from, I'm trying to remember his name, the big guy. I just watched it not too long ago. It's on Hulu. It's Underworld. No, 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 no. no. What is that thing called? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me time. Give me time while oh, I'm doing God. this. Hold <laughs> on, oh, no, 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 no. I got this. I well, got while this. you're thinking, let's let Crystal talk about why she believes Isekai is the best genre of anime. No, there's a reason why I said that. But go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Overlord. Oh. There we go. Well, I haven't overlord. started watching Overlord yet. It's on my list. Fuck, but it's, so, ah, it's, it's on my list though. It's on my list. So you were getting yeah. somewhere. Okay. I'll get overlord you actually is really good. I, like if you'd ask me that kind of question, you'd damn. I heard it. so many great reviews about it. I like Isekai because of the fact that it is probably one of the most unpredictable genre in anime. Um, mm -hmm. If you start going to like the more older school ones, it's very hard to predict. The newer school ones is like. Mm, um, my top three right now that I really like is Rising of the Shield Hero. Um, going back into the past, Inuyasha was one of my favorites. As, as predictable as that one was, sorry. Inuyasha was my favorite. Um, the art was really good. And then the third one I would have to say is Konosuba. Mm. Um, Konosuba but I, 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 I just think that a lot of the isekais that are starting to come out now, they are, they... Sorry, let me refresh. Let me refresh. <laughs> Sorry, let me refresh. I want to after this. Isekai, no, Isekai literally is just unpredictable. And I like anime where it's just like, we don't have to have the predictable, like, OPS power ups with characters. Or sometimes the main protagonist is not always the main protagonist in a lot of the Isekai. I like ones that go into the development of all the other characters. And you don't really get that with some of the other uh, shonen anime, shoujo anime, all the other shit that's like out now. You get a difference yeah. in the character development. The story yeah. is really good. The plot is really good. There is no plot armor for with Isekai. None of this shit really makes sense sometimes, but that yeah. makes it fun. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It gives me the chance to just let my brain go to rest. I'm tired of plot armor. I'm tired of loopholes. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sick of it. So Isekai gives me a fucking break from it. And I think we all could use some of that right about now. So Isekai is the best genre of fucking anime. And I'll stand mm -hmm. on that. See, this is the reason why. Period. This is the reason why I I question I already knew it was her. Because here's the thing. I never ever watched Shield and Sword ever in my life. And why? Why? I don't know. I just you never should. Watched it. You'll like it. You should. You'll like and it. that's the reason why. Because I was like, I don't know nothing about this anime show. So I was like, let me ask the guys real quick before I get on Crystal ass real quick. Because I already knew Crystal. Crystal was already sitting there just waiting. Just waiting to say I knew. Something. I was like, damn it. Well, <laughs> well, mm -hmm. shit, well that's, shit. That's the issue sometimes. <laughs> when you have people who know each other, it's like, mm, I think this is something well, that Crystal would well. say. <laughs> Man, so hey, you know what? Thank you guys for checking out Geek Blasphemy. Before we get into our winner, we are going to make sure that we have give everybody a chance to say how we can follow you and how our people can support you. So we're going to start off 
same order. ATO, tell the people how they can follow you and where they can support you at. Uh, just follow me at ATO Worldwide. Everything, uh, socials, all my uh, my DSPs, everything is ATO Worldwide. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bacardi, what's up with you, man? How can we follow you and where can we support you, Well, Yeah, you can uh, you can follow me on Bacardi as Bacardi Sensei on uh, pretty much Twitter and IG. Uh, you can support, I mean, buy some merch. Fuck with us, listen to us on Geek Set, of course. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, make sure you invest in and in, in pay attention to the the black geek documentary that we just dropped the trip teaser trailer just dropped out so you make sure you guys go to our our ig page or our, our youtube and check out that awesome yeah black geek documentary coming soon all right uh crystal you are up next how can people follow you and what can we support you on hi everybody um you guys can support me on black crystal cosplay on everything instagram facebook twitter um black crystal cost on twitch um, the best way to support me is just sharing my content because I've been on hiatus for a few years for mental health reasons, but I'm back now stronger than ever. Um, mm -hmm. And I would like to continue pursuing my dreams and just getting a chance to know everybody. So Black Crystal Cosplay on everything. Love it. Love it. Love it. Pierre, bring us home, man. Where can people follow you at? What can we support you on? Hello, my name is Pierre Stephs. I'm the antagonist. <laughs> community. You guys can follow me everywhere. Pierre Stephs everywhere except for my Twitch. My Twitch name is Pierre Steps TV because that's my <laughs> personal side of where I be raging when I play the game. <laughs> All right. Got to give a congrats to our winner of the second round, Bacardi Sensei. And being that, Bacardi, you are welcome to our highlight reel. You get one minute to get your shit off, bro. Go ahead. We're going to mute everybody up and go ahead and get your shit off. Are we good now? All right, I'm actually bouncing off of Dan and Pierre fan because I mean he really he really went hard, but I'm going to talk about a specific, and it's really the John Madden Joe Montana dispute that happened years ago, and I feel like that's the reason why football is pretty much at a stagnant place because at one moment in time Joe Montana football was elite football gaming, and it was taking over the the platform at that moment. John Madden saw that shit. The motherfucker was like, "We got to." And I'm like, nah, bro. Like, so it's like at that point is when I fucking quit. And I actually played John Madden back in the days, back when they had the fat bodies and they spent 360s in the airs. Like, I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed those John Madden. You know what I'm saying? But when they, when Joe Montana came out and kind of like they had, they already was using ESPN. They was already doing halftime reels. They were doing everything that like Madden got into years later. And that's why they stopped and was like, we can't let this shit happen. And this shit was like $20 when it came out. Joe Montana and ESPN football was $20 eating all that shit up. And I hate football games to this day because of John Madden monopolizing and literally just like, I stopped playing football games altogether at that point. And at this point, I feel like we are never going to get any other great football game or any other attempts at great football games as long as John, as long as they can keep buying out the licenses for every damn, every 10, 15 years. That's my story. All right, bro. I don't know what it is about Madden, but Madden is catching nothing but heat in these past two episodes. But also, Bacardi, bro, you I don't think I've ever heard anybody call the reference the game John Madden. That's how I know you don't fuck with Madden. <laughs> <laughs> it's Madden. Bro. You called that but is it, bro, this is the last time you, I was playing it, it was called John Madden. <laughs> Like you John Madden. I'm gonna name him John Madden, so I'm gonna call him John Madden. <laughs> Thank you for checking out Geek Blasphemy. I appreciate all my players for coming through. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for arcade tokens. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you next time.